I'm from a town where the young never shut our eyes Pick your poison, you could ride with those other guys Life is more than just a dream when your team's strong We write anthems, this is more than just a theme song Rock bees on our winter wears Welcome to Benam, the home of the phenoms It's only one city that we lean on, we call that What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network Gaming Commentary here to bring you another edition of our Minecraft segment. Um, I think this is going to be episode 19, so let's not waste any time and get into it. So um, last time, I don't exactly remember what happened, but I'm sure I'll become reacquainted as I click through this. So let us start up Etika Land. Wait, what? Oh, oh God. Okay. So we're gonna get into the game now, and oh yeah, now I remember. Okay, last time we were left off trying to dig out this mountainside to make it so we can put a ladder here to get to the top of the mountain and it's about to be nighttime so I'm probably not going to mess around with this anymore because the last thing I want to do is risk getting killed by some random monster while I'm trying to do this. Oh my god look at the beauty of Minecraft you see that moon rising? How beautiful. Every time I play this game I feel like I'm becoming one with nature. <laughs> Does that like show how detached from nature I actually am in the real world? Well guess how many fucks I give. None. Oh, speaking of no fucks, did you guys check out the Xbox One announcement? Like, wow, you know? I can't believe it. Microsoft finally did it. They killed themselves, you know, after all this time. I find it amazing that it took them this long to do it, you know? Especially after Windows 8. But then again, I think Windows 8 started the trend of Microsoft fucking up because I never really paid attention to micro- <gasps> Okay, I thought I just heard a fucking creeper. The sounds in this game really disturb me, especially when nighttime starts coming around. So you know what? Nope. I know some of you are probably saying, what the fuck, you crazy nigger, why didn't you just build, oh wow, I wasn't even all that far from this. Wow, okay. Is that a, is that a creeper next to my bed? That is dead ass a creeper next to my bed. What the hell am I supposed to do here? Oh my god. No. No. No, creeper. No, you fucking creeper. Stay the fuck away from me! Fuck! What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? He sees me! I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here, man. I gotta get out of here. He's gonna blow up! Oh shit! Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Come on, man. No, not now. Not like this. Oh my god, there's so many people! He's coming for me! Oh shit, he's coming. He's coming. Yo, I gotta get the fuck out of here. What the fuck am I doing? I gotta fucking kill this thing. Oh my god, please. We made so much progress, man. We made so much freaking progress. Now we can't even go to sleep in our own bed. Wow, son. All right. Um, what should we do here? There's a whole horde of creepers right over that mountain. You guys can see that one right there. He's just waiting to blow my ass up. So, all right. I think if I think and analyze the situation, I should be okay. So I guess I'll just walk around. But I might attract the attention of more monsters, so I have to be really fucking careful with that. Oh, I know what I could do. I could make a little... Um, Mountain. Yeah, okay, there we go, never mind. Okay, we have a solution here. Yeah, you see, he can't fuck with me like this. Yeah. You see them? Wow, they all came to the bottom of the damn thing, man. What the fuck? Seriously. Like, they all came for me. How does Creeper spawn that fast when the... I didn't even see any of these guys there. Oh man, I better not fall. If I fall, I'm dead pretty much. Oh my god. I could have used this dirt for a pillar too, but I guess this will be the pillar itself, huh? <laughs> okay, I gotta be really fucking careful here, man. Like, this is really fucking dangerous. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. This is not kosher. This is not kosher one bit. <laughs> Oh my god, look at this bullshit I gotta go through. All because of what, a fucking creeper? 
I remember when I first played Minecraft, right? I remember. And I was like, you know, what's so scary about these things? All they do is blow you up. That has no relevancy at all. You just respawn and, you know, start up again. No, no, no. It's funny. As I became a harder Minecraft player, I became more and more scared of creepers. Because, like, they one-hit KO you sometimes, no matter how much freaking armor you have. To me, that is just ridiculous. That's not called for at all. I'm really about to make this long-ass land bridge to my damn house. You know, okay. We're on the secondary mountain. Things should be cool. So you know what? Let's just make this mountain extend all the way to the freaking point where our bed was. This is retarded as hell, man. You know, I'm thinking, okay, we'll have a productive day. You know, we're going to skip the nighttime in the bed, sleep. Then we're going to, like, you know, wake up in the morning and, you know, be even more productive. But no, I'm, I'm, I'm making a fucking land bridge because creepers decided, hey, you know, I wonder what the inside of Desmond's anal cavity will feel like. In fact, I want to find out. Let's go ask him. But clearly, they misplaced Ask and Kamikaze Bomb. I swear, man. Some of these creepers should be running around with a goddamn... You know what? I'm not even going to be that racist because that's even low for my standards. Yeah, I actually have standards. Did you know that? <laughs> There's actually some stuff that I don't mess with, you know? Isn't that incredible? I think that's the most important, like, mind-blowing fact you'll ever learn about me. That I have standards. Like, there's certain things that I just won't joke about. What I was about to say was definitely one of them. If I manage to get through this without dying, I think I deserve, like, a blowjob from every single one of you. <laughs> I don't care if you're a two. <laughs> no, I do. I'm just kidding. I'm fucking around, you know. No homo, of course. <laughs> Oh man, I'm gonna turn that no homo thing into my staple, man. That's gonna be the new staple. You know how everybody's saying cookies because of me? We're gonna say no homo. And you know, it has nothing to do with anything against homosexuals. In fact, I fully support any endeavor homosexuals go through because, you know, it's like that's equality that's redundant. You know, there shouldn't be any debate over stuff like that anymore, you know? Let people do what they wanna do. But no, you always gotta have those stupid ass older people who always wanna muck things up for the progression of the younger. So, whatever. But still, I definitely, um, I definitely support homosexual. I have a lot of homosexual friends, actually. So you know, there's no discrimination whenever I say no homo. It's kind of like just a joke that, you know, perverted and spawned into something that has become the staple of this channel. We made it back to the bed, and now let us sleep. So you see, that wasn't such a difficult night. Things worked out for the better. And now, we have an ugly ass brown dildo extending from the fucking mountain into. This is so stupid looking. Like, I'm supposed to make this house, like, somewhat cool and interesting, but this dildo, dildo spanner is not going to do the job for me. I'm going to have to take that down at some point, somehow, without dying, once more. Oh, God. Or maybe I'll just leave it there. I don't give a fuck. Okay, then. Let us continue um, digging out this little place where our ladder will be. I thought we made a lot more progress than that, but oh well, we didn't, so we're going to have to continuously go through this thing. Let us do it. You know, the part of Minecraft playthroughs that I told you from before I always get worried about is the fact that like, when you're digging, and you're actually doing some mining, it gets boring, especially when you're the only one playing. Like, I know for a fact, didn't I tell you guys in the last episode that um, I want to play this game with somebody else eventually, because it's going to get really, really fucking boring just like playing this by myself eventually, even for me, you know? I love Minecraft and everything, but just my- oh, fuck. Okay, I need to cut down on the cursing too. Somebody said that if you press R, it organizes your inventory, but clearly it's not working. Someone lied to me, and I thought you guys loved me. Oh boy. But yeah, I definitely want to play this with somebody else at some point, because it's going to get fucking boring, man. Like, I'm not even trying to like, make it seem like I don't like the game. But you know, in general, repetition is the worst medicine for the human mind. And repetition, my friends, is something that is easily obtainable in Minecraft, so I definitely want to, maybe I'll get like Christine to play with me or something like that, because she has like this fancy new computer now. Well, it's fancy definitely compared to her old computer, that's for sure. The only problem is that it's got Windows 8, so you know, we have to like sort of tactically try to figure out how the hell we can play Minecraft on that thing, because well, Windows 8, I can barely even read documents on that thing, you know, much less play a video game. But other than that, the computer specs are decent, you know, it's an i5 processor, it's, um, it'll definitely handle Minecraft like a boss. We just need to get it hurried up and installed. And also, um, if you guys are wondering, I actually did find me a place to move. I should have made a status video about this a while ago, but I kept putting things off. 
but I'm definitely gonna make a formal status video about it. I actually found a place to move, guys, and it's a really cool spot with my um, best friend, Ben. He helps me out with a lot of the videos, a lot of the projects that we're doing. So it should be really productive because he's the cameraman and um, he's also like just, you know, standard aid, assistant, help, et cetera, et cetera. He's going to be able to help me out with a lot of the stuff, although he is getting a new job, so he may not be as available sometimes. But whatever, we'll make, the, we'll make this thing work. Either way, it's going to be really, really productive. And um, since I'm going to be living with him and he has a really good computer as well, too, we can like play games together and shit, you know, no homo. Of course, <laughs> but we can play games together and just chill and stuff. And not only that, but um, we'll also probably be able to play some LAN Minecraft together, which will help me make these episodes a little bit more spicy in case I'm not doing it enough for you guys as it is. Because like I said, I don't want this to get boring where it's just like, you know, me digging up diamonds for 15 minutes an episode. You know, that kind of gets dull. Oh, here comes the beautiful music. Yes, yes, I love this music. You know, the volume is really loud. Every time I break a piece of dirt, it sounds like it's about to rip my earlobes in half. Um, okay. Some of you guys have also been asking me about, um, okay, I don't know what just happened. I just totally forgot whatever the hell I was going to say. I'm not bullshitting you. One bit. Whoa. How the hell does that even happen? I, I, I just had it in my head. What was I going to say? Are you kidding me right now? Like, I really cannot remember what I was just about to say to you. And I don't smoke either. Like, you know, I don't, I don't get high on a regular basis. I just literally forgot what I was going to say. Is this what happened? You see? Repetition. I've been digging through these damn gray blocks for how long, man? Oh, you dudes want to hear a rhyme? I, some, of you guys, um, some of you guys really been asking me like crazy to bring back the rap battle segment. And you know what? I'm going to have some free time for the next like three weeks, so I'm probably gonna try to see if I can bring back some rap battles and maybe get a cypher in or two. Cause you guys already know, I was doing this shit before Shofu, you know? It's not like I'm faking, like I've been doing the rap battling shit. You guys have seen the archives, I've been in this shit since 2006, baby. So, you know, none of you Shofu promoters talking about, oh, Atticus is doing it because Shofu's black and he's doing it, oh <laughs> niggas. No, 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 I've been at this shit, baby. So don't try to doubt my authenticity, okay? I've been rapping. Ah. Uh. So let me get into a rhyme now. Niggas think they thugs just cause they chest big. I kick your left tip from here to Texas. Cause I've been raping bitches since R. Kelly got arrested. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sometimes my rhymes can be somewhat questionable because I learned how to, I learned how to freestyle from um, Piff James. He's like a really popular older rapper. And basically every single rhyme that this man said was something that would make you question your ethics. <laughs> like, he, he would say some stuff that would make you say like, did I really just hear a grown man say that? It's quite disgusting, but I just grew to love that kind of rap battling style because you leave your opponent put for such a loop. Remember, I'm not a rapper, I'm a rap battler. The point of me rapping in my rap battles is to make the opponent as phased out as possible. So, you know, if you talk about ungodly things that you've done with your mother, doesn't necessarily mean that you want to actually do those things. It just means that you're trying to get under your opponent's skin as much as possible, which requires you to go to some lengths that, that even, I don't even know who, I don't, you just got to go to some crazy lengths, man. You have to. I came up with this one rhyme in high school. No, no, not high school. I mean, excuse me, in college when I was going to um, Kingsborough University. And um, it went like this. It was something really quick, but like, I remember when I said it, like half the people in the room were like, oh my God, like that was fucking crazy. I, it was something like this. Um, I'm hurting your slut, I'm working a, wait, no, 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 no. I'm working you fucks, I'm hurting your slut, I'm working a butt, have a suck on my dick and burp on my nuts. <laughs> and everyone was like, ah, oh, that was hot, but yeah. I was like, yeah, man. That's, they, there's a name for it. It's called horrorcore. Horrorcore basically is a kind of rap battling style where your intention is to phase out your opponent by using the most derogatory, gruesome, explicit language possible. That explains sort of where my sick, twisted sense of humor comes from. It's just funny seeing people's reactions. I was born a troll. Like when I was a little, little kid, I used to pretend to be gay to like scare other guys away simply because I found it hilarious how people were so like scared of gay people. Like you guys are really that gay? Like what the fuck is your problem? I never understood people's like homophobia, so I always used to exploit that shit. And it's funny, you know, people would say, oh, don't people think you're gay all the time? 
Um, no, not really. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, I, I guess from the outside, but I guess I must be really manly in my own way. So, hey, I'll be even more manly once we get that bodybuilding segment built up as well. You guys know for a fact that I've been doing some bodybuilding lately, or rather I haven't been doing it, but I've been active in it. The only reason why I haven't really gone further in it is simply because it's like, you know, I can't really take in enough carbs to actually build any mass, you know? So when I'm able to take in enough carbs, then I'll be good, which is probably going to be soon because I'm moving into a new place, which we'll have in kitchen. Either way, guys, I want to thank you once again for tuning in to the Etika World Network gaming commentary featuring the Minecraft segment. If you got any suggestions, questions, comments, or criticisms, definitely leave them in the comment section below. But hey, I ain't going to hold up no more of your time. I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for tuning in and have a damn good one. But no, I'm not supposed to say that yet. Fuck.